Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, my dear friends. This is a new video and a new story. We have uh, we have a new story now that we would like to discuss. So let's share my screen and see what do we have. Um, yes, here. Just go back. So are you ready, guys, to read a new story different from what you have been reading? And yes, here it is. Don't forget, guys, our rules. If you, if, if, while you're reading and you see a word that you have never known, or it's a new one, so you have a variety of options that you can do. Uh, one, you, ha you can check your dictionary. This is if you would like to make it easy. And you can also try to guess the meaning through the context of the whole uh, paragraph or the whole sentence. And you have one, if you're lucky, you're going to find that the author used a synonym for the word, which means a word with the same meaning, or he is explaining the word. So in, in all cases, you can read the whole part, then try to guess the meaning. So I, I hope that you see my screen now. This is the title of the story. It's Suki's Kimono. Um, of course, Suki is, you may think it's the name of these fish, or you may, you may think that this is the name of the girl. But Suki is the name of our girl. And Suki's Kimono. That means that Kimono belongs to Suki. Because I say Suki is the apostrophe as here refers that the next noun is for the previous one. So as you see, guys, I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you think that Suki is a Saudi girl? Of course not. How did you know? You have two reasons. The, the easiest and the first one is that I guess that Suki is not a Saudi name. Whereas here in Saudi, we don't choose um, such names for girls. Um, and the other one is the, uh, in the picture, if you think that this is Suki, she looks like a Japanese girl and the uh, clothes itself. That's the kimono. It's a, a traditional Japanese wear. And here we have a question for you guys, which is here, how does culture influence the others, uh, the clothes we wear? So I guess that we discussed this in class and you know that uh, in Saudi, we have uh, our traditional set of clothes. So if you're a man, you're wearing a soap. And you have the accessories for the soap and shanakh and agal and such stuff. And if you're a Saudi girl or a Saudi, a Saudi woman, then you're wearing abaya. Of course, yes, true. But in Japan, as you see, as you see this is the kimono that they wear in, in some countries, they wear, they wear suits. Uh, and so on. And we discussed this idea, and we said that yes, culture influences the, the clothes that you're wearing. Even the place itself that you are in. Because in the same country, you may, some, some clothes are accepted in some places, but in others not. As we discussed the idea, if you went to Uphor, for example, or any coastal city, you're going to wear shorts and maybe you, you, you're not wearing anything on top, but it's accepted. But you can do so in your own town. This is weird. And, and here, we're going to refer to something called realistic fiction, which means that the, in this story, you're going to meet some people who are so much alike, real people. And you're going to go through some events or incidents that are real, that happen in life. And we would like to remind you, or would like you to tell us if you have ever um, found a very close relationship between one of the characters in any story that you're reading or studying and one of your friends or one of your relatives or a real character in life. They behave in the same way, they act in the same way, they think similarly. Uh, okay, this is great guys, thank you so much. So let's see how, what is Suki and what, what's the problem with her kimono. So we go to the first two pages. I can find here, I'm, look, I'm looking here 
I find the school bag. I don't know why. Do you know why? Yes, you know, because it's the first time, the first day of school. So Suki is ready to go to school. Um, I don't think that she's sad at all, maybe. She's not an Arab, so Arabs only become sad when they go to school for on their first day or normally. Uh, and she's very excited. She's moving her legs and she's moving her arms and another picture because this is Suki and this is another uh, Suki while she's dreaming. Uh, she's wearing her kimono and here she's wearing her normal clothes. So what does this mean? Maybe she would like to wear her kimono on her first day of school. I don't know. I don't think that her sister will accept this or will be happy with this. But her sister told her that you can do so, people will laugh at you. And here we have to stop, guys. Sometimes we would like to do things that make us happy, but we don't, we don't do that because we think other people will get angry or will get upset. It's normal, it's accepted to value others' opinion, but you can't do, you can't do so for long, or for good, because sometimes you have to do things that make you happy, as long as you're not going to hurt any, any other one, or they are not morally um, uh, being refused by others or by Allah, of course, this is the most important point. So let's see what, what Suki is going to do. Her sister disagreed. She said, no, you can't do so. People will laugh at you. People will mock uh, at what you're wearing. However, she insisted that she's going to wait. And here comes the point that when you, when you know, when you feel that you can do something, and you don't see any wrong idea about that, and people have no strong uh, points against what you're doing, then you have to go on with what you, you're doing. You have to uh, hold fast to dreams. Okay, guys? Or they are going to die. So we found out that Suki insisted on wearing her kimono, and she was, uh, she was supported by her Abba Chan. And Abba Chan is um, like a grandmother or a, an aunt to anyone. So her grandmother here supported her. And she was so happy. And she took her to a festival, as you can see in the picture. People are dancing, having fun. And Suki, Suki is extremely happy because she's wearing her kimono. She insisted on um, going on with her plan. She didn't care about people, and she found some other people wearing the same, doing the same. Okay, and because she's happy and excited, she was moving in grief. She was graceful. And if you, if you remember the, the, the words that we explained, we said that graceful in movements just describe things that are in style, uh, are very attractive. So she was amazing. Let's see if she can uh, go on doing so or not. We move to the next stage. Still people are having so much fun and the, the festival is on and the drummer is boom, 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 boom. And she's, she's in the mood, guys. She's, she's extremely happy, which made her go on with her plan and not, uh, she didn't take off her kimono and she went on doing so. Um, now her mother, uh, sorry, sorry, let me stop here. The grandmother took her to a souvenir stand. And the idea of um, souvenirs is really um, worthwhile because sometimes you don't remember an event or a day or something. But when you see, when you see, let me see, when you see a souvenir, you remember the day so well. And you may, you may smile because the, the, the memories are happy. Of course, it can be said. So she put something to remember that day so well because this day is really unique. It's the first day of school. But in the other picture, as you can see, 
uh, her mother took, took a picture of her and her sisters. However, when they started going to school, as you can see, her sister moved some paces ahead. They did not go with Suki. And you know why, right? Why? Yes, excellent. Because she's wearing a kimono. They thought that this is embarrassing and people will laugh at them. That's why they did not want to go with her. Does, did this matter? Never. She had a dream. She had a dream. And you two have dreams, guys. So what did we say? Hold fast to dreams. Do not let them away because no one else will live your dream. You have to do it yourself. And here in the street, she used to raise her hands and her sleeves were covered in butterflies, which made her uh, imagine that she had wings. This is extremely pleasant, guys. She's really happy. She thinks she had wings. Okay. However, as you can see in the picture, more people are laughing at her now. More people are mocking. And her, her sisters just ran because they don't want to be, to be embarrassed. But I, I like Suki because she didn't let her dream go. So this, we stop here. This is the first part of the story. Do not forget that we have another part. Bye-bye.